give it up on the better way. Is there anybody in here that can understand that if our values are right and our budgets are just, we can support and pay our teachers. Yes. We can rebuild a future for our children. Red, yellow, black, and white, they're all precious in God's sight. We can lift up public education. Is there anybody in here that believes in the better way? The better way says if the wealthy pay their fair share, we will have surplus budget and not deficits. The better way says we can pay hardworking people living wage and ensure their basic human dignity to the right to collective bargaining and workers' rights. The better way says that we can use global technology and green economy and the targeted economic infrastructure investment and total access to education to create jobs and to address the realities of poverty. If we see the poor as our neighbors and remember that we are our brothers and sisters keeper, we don't have to give Wall Street free money and then take food stamps from the poor. There is a better way. The better way says the sick shall and can have adequate health care. And, and the better way says it is in fact sick to try to keep sick folk from not having health care. Something got to be wrong with you. The better way says we can reject hate and division and mean attempts to write people out of the constitutional protection because of their race, their creed, or their sexual orientation. The better way says that we want everybody to vote. We want full participation in this democracy. We don't need less voting rights. We need more voting rights. The better way says that we can't turn back now. Oh, 50 years after the march on Washington, 50 years after Freedom Summer, it was too hard to get the rights and the progress we have now. It was too hard. Yet with a steady beat have not our weary feet come to the places for which our fathers sat. Too many prayers were prayed to get where we are. Too many lives were sacrificed. Too much blood was shed. Too many tears were cried. Cry. Touch your neighbor and say, we can't turn back now. And understand, we win. Say, we win. we win. When we speak up, we win. When we fight back, we win. When we change the political culture, we win. When we cause people to imagine again, we win. When we inspire people to help others and, and get people to see, you don't have to just accept what domination says. You can, in fact, fight that. You don't have to fight that with cussing. You don't have to fight that with Molotov cocktails. You don't have to fight that with knives and guns. You can fight that with truth because the moral art of the universe may be in law, but it always tends to war justice. So, as I close today, Howard Thurman said, the question for every age is whether you stand on the side of the disinherited. Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they fight you, then you win. <laughs> Recently, I told you 941 of us have been arrested. We went in because God said go in. Yeah. Our legislature is under the leadership of extremists. We went in hoping we could speak to their conscience. Instead of listening, they ordered us arrested. Our arrest sheet says, arrested for singing, <laughs> praying, <laughs> and talking loud. That's preaching. Yeah. But I'm so proud of my race record. I don't want to go down in history that I was quiet when I should have been speaking. Touch your neighbor and say, what about you? And I'm here to tell you, they told us, they called us morons. You, you heard about it. They said we were outsiders. They said we wouldn't make a difference. Over 40 weeks ago, we began Moral Mondays. They said nothing would happen. But since April 29, people have been coming together. Yes. Started out with about 50 on the 29th. When we finished the last one in Raleigh, 15,000 people showed up. <laughs> First time we went outside of Raleigh, 10,000 people showed up in Asheville. Every week when we have them, hundreds of thousands show up. When we started out, the governor's numbers were over 50. We didn't make no difference, he's just now under 30. In the polls, you know what I'm saying? When we started out, the legislature was over 40. Now they're way down under 20. 
But Marl Monday is polling at about 58% among North Carolina. Now, we don't judge our movement by the number, but it's all right every now and then. <laughs> people are coming together. Say, people are coming together. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands by social media around the country and the world, people are noticing. Those of faith, those wrestling with faith, black, white, Latino, Native American, Asian coming together. Gay and straight people standing together, coming together. Unemployed and millionaire businessmen going to jail together. Doctors and sick folk going to jail together. People with insurance going to jail for folk that don't have insurance. Teachers and students, women and men. And on February the 8th, we're going to have the moral march on Raleigh. And this year, we said, come on down. Don't come down and fight for us. Come down and get inspired. Come back home and fight for yourself. It's time. And when we all get together, when we get together in North Carolina, when we get together in Virginia, when we get together in Mississippi, what a day, what a day, what a day of rejoicing it's going to be. So, I can't help but be a preacher for at least two minutes. Y'all don't mind, I hope I just have to be who I am or who I is. Biologists and environmentalists tell you that if you ever decline, get lost in the mountain terrain. Don't walk in the valley of despair when you're trying to get out of the mountains. Because snakes live in the lowland. They say if you've got to fight your way out of mountainous territory anyway, at least make your way above the snake line. Yeah. Biologists say that snakes are cold-blooded animals and therefore they can't exist at high altitude. And so in every terrain there's a snake line. Normally it's about halfway up the mountain. And if you can just get above the snake line and you can make it out because you don't have to worry about a snake bite. And so I, because snakes asphyxiate. They suffocate at above the snake lines. And I start by to tell you that that's what moral movements must be about. Yeah. We must rise above the small and petty politics to a higher plane. Yeah. There are those who want us to stay in the valley of despair. But we must be determined that we're going to press on the upward way. And we're going to gain new heights every day. And we must ask the Lord to plant our feet on higher ground. Tell your neighbor, higher ground. There are those who want us to be depressed about the Koch brother money, but that's below the snake line. There are those that want us to be depressed about the extreme right-wing attack like Fox News and the Tea Party, but that's below the snake line. They want us to live in, des in desperation because of the attacks on voting rights and the Supreme Court ruling and the lie and the lies and the distortion about Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. But that's above the snake line. Tell your neighbor, it's time to go to higher ground. Frederick Douglass in the days of slavery, instead of being depressed in the, under the snake line, he planted his feet on higher ground. Above the snake line and slavery asphyxiated. Harriet Tubman, instead of being depressed, she planted her feet on higher ground. Above the snake line and slavery asphyxiated. Elizabeth Cannon State in the days of denying women the right to vote planted her feet on higher ground. Rose above the snake line. The woman's suffrage movement was born and unequal voting rights suffered an asphyxiation and died. Rosa Parks in the days of Jim Crow refused to be depressed, planted her feet on higher ground, rose above the snake line, Jim Crow suffocated. Mandela went to prison, but he didn't live under the snake line. He rose above the snake line, put his feet on higher ground, and then Mandela went from prisoner to president because you can live above the snake line. Black and white students 50 years ago refused to be depressed by violence and hatred, so they planted their feet on higher ground and they rose above the snake line and they fought at a higher level until the nation had no chance but to pass the Voting Rights Act. And so it is with us. It's time for the North Carolina People's Assembly and the Virginia People's Assembly and any other assembly to plant your feet on higher ground. We must believe we can rise above the snake line. Truth is above the snake line. 
Justice is above the snake line of injustice. Mercy is above the snake line of meanness. Right is above the snake line of wrong. Hope is above the snake line of despair. Love is above the snake line of hate. God is above the snake line of the devil. We must plant our feet on higher ground. Turn to your neighbors and neighbor. Let's press on the upward way. Say neighbor. We must gain new heights. Say neighbor. Let's take this state to higher ground. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. It's organizing time. It's assembly time. It's justice time. Tell your neighbor, come on. Come on. Let's plant our feet on higher ground.